Hi boys and girls, Miss Broadsley here. So right now I'm gonna show you some stellar jays. They're a special bird in Southern California. They have beautiful, beautiful blue in on their breast and also on their wings. And then they have a black head with these fun like little tufts of feathers that come out at the top. So they're very distinctive. And here you can see them eating on my deck. I've been feeding them peanuts and I've been having fun watching how they choose their nuts by shaking them. No, nope, not that one. How about that one? No, nope, that one. So as you can see, I've been very curious about when they're shaking them, which ones they choose. Is it visual? Is it the sound of the nuts inside? So if we look here, this one is a little bit empty. I wonder if they'll choose it or not. This one only has one nut, but it does have a nut inside. Again, one nut with a nut inside. This one's nice and full and it looks pretty. Over here, we've got a one nut. Now this one is kind of open, one nut, kind of a little small. This one has nuts, but it's an awkward shape. This one has nuts, but it's kind of looking a little grungy. Let's make the grungy side up, see if that affects them and their choice. This is a good one, nice and clean and big. Over here, nice and clean and big. This one has a little bit of an open part. Let's see if they choose that or not. We've got another one of the single ones. And then this one is just kind of looking old, but it does have nuts inside. All right, we're gonna look again in a minute, see which ones they choose. We'll come and see what's left. Do you see how they're testing them? They really do like shake them about. Oh, that was one of the good ones. Oh, look at him reject that little one. Oh, but he took that little one. Okay, now they're taking them a little faster. Sometimes I've noticed they will truly check every single nut before they choose the one they like. <laughs> ah, did you see how he had a little one in his beak? Rejected it, threw it to the ground, in fact, and took the bigger one. Let's see what's left. Oh, don't like that one. Ah, big one. Oh, took a little one. Okay, let's go see what's left right now. Okay, so in this bowl, oh my gosh, I was so curious if this was gonna turn out. Look, the open one that didn't look very nice, left over. The kind of ugly one that was open, <laughs> left over. Over here, we have another one that was open, left over. And this one, again, was that one that wasn't very attractive, even though it has nuts in. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm actually kind of really excited right now. Boys and girls, I'm kind of freaking out right now because I had a theory that they would take the best ones, but I didn't know how, like they really, really, really would only take the best ones at first. Now, I happen to know from watching them over the last few days that ultimately they will give in and take all of them. Okay, so that was really fun, but it got me curious. So in that sort of spontaneous experiment, there was a variety of everything. There were nuts that didn't look very good. There were nuts that looked great. There were peanuts that um, were filled with nuts, what, some that were empty. There were some that were open, some that weren't open. There were way too many variables. So I still don't really know exactly what's going on with their choosing. So I was thinking that if I'm gonna be a really good scientist right now, I should narrow our test to just one variable. And we call that an independent variable. I don't wanna be experimenting with the visual at the same time as the nuts, as the same time as the open ones or closed ones. So I'm gonna choose one independent variable to test, one thing to change. So I'm gonna make sure that all the nuts look the same, they all look visually really good, and I'm just gonna test for the quantity of nuts inside. 
So I'm thinking I'll make one that has no nuts, one that has just one nut, and one that has both the nuts filled. And so that the only thing I'm testing is that independent variable, how many nuts does the nut have? These three peanuts look almost identical. They're all the big, nicely colored peanuts. So they have that in common. The only thing that's different is about the inside. All right, so we're gonna set up our experiment. Our independent variable, our one thing that we're gonna change and test for are the nuts. So we have three very attractive peanuts as we saw. We have one with no nut at all. So zero nuts, I'm gonna put it right here. Then we have our one with two nuts. It's nice and full right here with two nuts. And we have one that just has the one nut. I'm gonna put it right here. But they're all about the same size. They're all about the same coloration. And I'm gonna get out of the way and see what the birds do. Oh my gosh, that was like exactly what we thought would happen. All right, boys and girls, so you saw my experiment. My independent variable was whether or not the peanut had nuts. Um, so I was trying to not test about the way it looked and just focus on one change. And I realized that in not being in a science lab, there were a lot of other factors like other birds suddenly showing up or the fact that it started to snow. So um, I'm gonna wait to do another experiment, but one thing I'd love you to do is if you would tell your teacher an idea for another experiment I could conduct, I will listen to your ideas and I will try to set that up for us next time. Um, another thing that you could do now for your assignment, if you choose to accept it, there are a few options. One, if you have some nuts and seeds already at home, I don't want you going to the grocery store for it. If you already have some nuts and seeds, maybe you could set up a little um, bird feeder situation and see what birds come to your house and observe them. You could also just observe the birds in nature around your apartment buildings, around your homes. And then another one would be to actually go and do a little research about stellar jays in Southern California what they're like, what their behaviors are like. I know that I see them working as a team a lot. They seem to be in families of like five or seven. You can hear them squawking around waiting for me to get away because there are still nuts out on the deck for them. Um, and then lastly, there are some beautiful close-up pictures online of Stellar Jays and maybe you could do an art project and paint one or draw one with crayons.